In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this beaded crochet baby shoes with crochet cords. For work, I'll be using a ball of yarn, a crochet hook, some stitch markers, a measuring tape, and beads. These crochet baby shoes work up in rounds with no seams. First, I'll start with the sole, making four rounds there. And then I'll continue crocheting the upper part with beads. Start the sole by making a chain of 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is the foundation chain. Now begin the first round. Chain 2 to bring up the yarn. 1, 2, skip 2 chain stitches away from the hook and half double crochet 3 into the 3rd stitch. 1, 2, and 3. Now continue and half double crochet into each of next 6 chain stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now double crochet into each of next 6 chain stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Into the last chain stitch of the foundation, this one, make 7 double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four. Then turn the work upside down and continue working into the same chain stitch. I need to double crochet three more. Five, six, and the last one. Seven. Continue the first round working through the same chain stitches of the foundation. So double crochet into each of next six chain stitches. One, two, three, four, Five and the last double, six. Then half double crochet into each of next six chain stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and into the next stitch, 6. Now into the last chain stitch, half double crochet 3 times. 1, 2, and 3. Complete the first round by making a slip stitch into the second chain stitch. The first round is ready. Now let's continue and begin the second round. 
To start the second round, chain three to bring up the yarn. One, two, three. Then double crochet into the same chain stitch that we've just worked a slip stitch into. Then double crochet twice into the next stitch of previous round. One and two. Continue and double crochet into each of next 15 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Then double crochet twice into the next two stitches. So into the first stitch double crochet one and two and into the second one work the same. One and two. Now into the next stitch double crochet three. One, two, and three. Continue this round working on the opposite side. Work the same stitches in the reverse order. So double crochet twice into the following two stitches. One and two. Then double crochet into each of next 15 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Then double crochet twice into the following stage. It is into the last stage of previous round. One and two. And now I need to double crochet into the chain stage that we worked a slip stage into to complete the previous round. Now to complete the round, make a slip stitch into the third chain stitch we made on the beginning of this round. The second round is ready and here what we have. Let's continue the work and begin crocheting the next third round. Chain 3 to bring up the yarn. One, two, three. Then double crochet twice into the first double of previous round. One and 
two. Now continue and work the same into the next two stitches. Double crochet twice into the next stitch and into the next one. One and two. Then double crochet 15 in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and the last double, fifteen. Now double crochet twice into each of next five stitches. Into the first stitch, double crochet one and two. Into the second stitch, double crochet one, two. Into the third one, one and two. Into the fourth stitch, work the same, double crochet one and two. And the last time, into the next fifth stitch, double crochet twice. Now, into this next stitch, double crochet three times. One, two, and three. Now, before we continue this round, insert the stitch marker into the middle double of these three that are worked into one stitch. Here they are. One, two, three. Insert the stitch marker into the second double. The stitch marker shows us the center of the toe. Now let's continue and complete the third round. Double crochet twice into the following five stitches. So, into the first stitch, double crochet twice. One, two, into the second stitch. One, two, into the third one. One, two, into the fourth stitch. One, two, and into the last fifth stage double crochet twice. Then double crochet into each of next 15 stitches. Work the same as on the opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Here I made 15 doubles in a row. Then double crochet twice into each of next three stitches. Into the first stitch, double crochet one, two. Into the second one, double crochet one and two and into the last stitch of previous round, double crochet twice. 
Now, into this chain stitch of previous round, it is the same chain stitch that we worked a slip stitch into to complete the previous round, make three double crochet stitches. One, two, and three. Now complete the third round by making a slip stitch into the third chain stitch. Round three is finished. Now let's begin the last round of the sole. The next round is a round of single crochet stitches. So to start round four, Chain one is to bring up the yarn and single crochet into each stitch of previous round. Keep working single crochet stitches till the end of the round and don't forget to move the stitch marker to the new round. I'm about to complete round four. For this, make a slip stitch into the first chain stitch we made on the beginning. Now the sole for the shoe is ready. This is its right side. And this is the reverse. The stitch marker shows us the toe of the shoe. Now, before we start the next round, take two more stitch markers and from this middle one that we've already had, count nine stitches to both sides. Do not count the stitch with the marker, count away from it. First, I'll count to the right, so skip eight stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and insert the stitch marker into the next ninth stitch. Let me double check myself. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and ninth one with the marker. Now do the same to the other side. Skip 8 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and insert the stitch marker into the next stitch. Now we can begin the upper part of the shoe. In the next round, I'll begin joining beads, so you need to have them ready. Let's continue and begin crocheting round 5. Chain 1 to bring up the yarn and then chain 3 more for the chain space. 1, 2, 3. Skip 2 stitches of previous round and single crochet into the next third stitch. Then chain three, one, two, three, skip two stitches, one, two, and single crochet into the next third one. Work the same till you reach the first stitch marker. So repeat chain three, one, two, three, skip two stitches of previous round, one, two, and single crochet into the third one. Again, chain three, skip two stitches and single crochet into the third one. Chain one, two, three, skip two stitches of previous round and single crochet into the third stitch. Again, chain three, single crochet into the third stitch. Again, chain one, two, three, skip one, two, and single crochet into the third stitch. Now, 
before the stitch marker, we have one, two stitches on previous round. So to continue this round, chain three, one, two, three, and join the first bead. For this, take a bead, put it on the hook. Here you need to have the beads that you can insert the hook into easily, like this. So hold the bead on the hook. Let's remove the stitch marker. Skip two stitches of previous round, one, two, and single crochet into the next stitch. It is into the stitch that was with the marker. Pull up a loop through the stitch, then through the bead on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two to complete the single crochet. Now continue, repeat the same. Chain three, one, two, three. Put a bead on the hook. Skip two stitches of previous round and single crochet into the third one. Pull up a loop through the stitch, then through the bead. Yarn over and pull through two. Again, chain three. Put a bead on the hook. Skip two stitches on previous round and single crochet into the third stitch. Now here, before the next stitch marker, we have two stitches left. And now I'll continue working into this stitch that is with the marker. We need to repeat the same chain three and join the bead by working a single crochet stitch into this middle stitch on the toe. So remove the marker and continue the same. Repeat chain three. One, two, three. Put a bead on the hook. Skip two stitches, one, two, and single crochet into the third one. Again, chain three, one, two, three. Put a bead on the hook. Skip two stitches, one, two, and single crochet into the third one. Again, one, two, three chain stitches, put a bead and single crochet into the third stitch. And the last time, chain three and work into the third stitch. Here, skip two stitches, one, two, and single crochet into the one that is with the stitch marker right now. Let's remove the stitch marker. Now don't forget to put a bead on the hook and single crochet into the third stitch of previous round. Here we added seven beads to this round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now continue and crochet the chain spaces without the beads. So chain three, skip two stitches of previous round, one, two, and single crochet into the third one. Continue the same till the end of the round, chain three, and single crochet into the third stitch. Again, one, two, three chain stitches, skip two stitches and single crochet into the third one. Chain one, two, three, skip one, two, and single crochet into the third one. One, two, three chain stitches, skip two, and single crochet into the third one. Work till the end of this round. Chain three. Skip two stitches and single crochet into the third one. Now in previous round we have left two stitches. 
I'll skip these last two stitches and I'll complete the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. So now chain three and work a slip stitch into the first chain stitch that we started this round with. Round five is ready. And here what we have so far. Now let's begin the next sixth round. Before we start round six, make a slip stitch into the next chain stitch. And then single crochet into the first chain space of previous round. Now chain three for the chain space, one, two, three, and single crochet into the next chain space of previous round. Again, chain three and single crochet into the next chain space. Continue and make four more chain spaces of three. Do not work into this chain space that is right before the first bead. So continue chain three, single crochet into the next chain space, again chain three and single crochet into the next chain space. Chain one, two, three and single crochet. And the last time chain three and single crochet into the next chain space. Now I'll be joining the bead by working into this next chain space. So chain three and join the bead by working single crochet stitch into this next chain space. So put a bead on the hook and single crochet, pull up a loop through the chain space, then through the bead, yarn over and pull through two. Repeat the same chain three. Again, put a bead on the hook and single crochet into the following chain space. To this round, I'll add eight beads. So repeat the same chain three, one, two, three. Put a bead on the hook and single crochet into the next chain space. Again, chain three, add a bead and single crochet into the following chain space. Again, chain three and single crochet with a bead. Chain three, one, two, three, put a bead on the hook and single crochet into the next chain space. Chain three and single crochet with a bead. And repeat the last time, chain three, put a bead on the hook and single crochet into this next chain space. It is the first chain space after the last bead on previous round. So now on this round we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beads. Now continue and make chain spaces of three till the end of this round. Chain three and single crochet into the next chain space. Chain three and single crochet into the next chain space. Keep working till the end of this round. Let's complete round six together. For the last chain space, chain two instead of three. One, two, and make a single crochet into the first single crochet that we started this round with. Insert the hook into the single crochet. Take the working yarn and pull up a loop through. Then yarn over and pull through two. Here with two chain stitches and a single crochet we've created the same sized chain space. To begin the next round, round seven, single crochet around the post of 
the single crochet we've just made. Insert the hook around the post, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Now chain three for the chain space and single crochet into the next chain space of previous round. Again, make chain spaces of three all the way till you reach the chain space that is right before the first beat. Work till you reach this chain space. Here I reached the chain space that is right before the first beat. Now I'll be joining the bead by working the single crochet into the next chain space. Again, it is the chain space before the first bead of previous round. So put a bead on the hook and single crochet into that chain space. For this round you'd need 9 beads. I joined the first one, continue and work the same chain 3, put a bead on the hook and single crochet into the next chain space, pull up a loop through the next chain space and then through the bead, yarn over and pull through 2. Repeat the same chain 3, put a bead on the hook and single crochet into the next chain space. Again chain 3 and join the next bead by working the single crochet into the next chain space. Again chain 3, 1, 2, 3, put a bead on the hook and single crochet into the next chain space. Again chain 3 and single crochet with the bead. Chain 3 and join the next bead by working the single crochet into the next chain space. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and single crochet with the bead. And repeat the last time, chain 3, put a bead on the hook and single crochet into the next chain space. It is the first chain space after the last bead on previous round. Then continue chain 3 and single crochet into the next chain space. Work without the bead. Again chain 3 and single crochet into the next chain space. Now let's stop here and take a look at the toe. Here as you can see we made 3 rounds with the beads. Now continue the work. You need to crochet the chain spaces of 3 till the end of this round. Please follow the second part of tutorial 81 to continue crocheting these beautiful beaded baby shoes. Thank you so much for watching.